All right, so here I am in PowerPoint and I have my title Jeopardy slide, which I want to have buttons that go to my subsequent slides with the questions and answers on them. Um, and so right now I've set up one through $500 slides and I just put in here so I knew what it was, uh, what slide we're on. And uh, when I click back to my title slide now, what I first thing I need to do is go and create some buttons. So I'm gonna create a rectangle that I wanna be in my button and I'm gonna make that yellow and then I'm gonna duplicate that button so that I have something to cover it up with uh, when I'm ready for it to, to disappear once I click on it. And so I'm gonna put $100 in this slide or in this button, excuse me, and make that text a little bit darker, make it bold and make it a little bit bigger. So now I've got my $100 button and then when I click on it, I want this thing to come on over the top of it. And so I'm gonna make this button a uh, blue color and now I need to set my action for this button to be able to go to the slide I want to go to. So this I want to go to the second slide, um, which is our $100 slide. So when I click on this, I'm gonna go to insert and then I'm gonna navigate over here to action in the menu bar. So I'm gonna click action and I wanna hyperlink to slide, second slide. And I'm gonna click okay and click okay. And now when I go to present this and I click on that, it should navigate to my $100 slide, okay? So now I'm gonna exit out of that and come back here. And then the next thing I wanna have happen is this thing covered up. So I'm gonna go to this and I want this to appear when I click on that button. So I'm gonna click appear. And now it's gonna appear on the first click, but I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go in here and edit my effect options. And when I click effect options here, I can go over to uh, my timing and I'm gonna have it have a trigger set to the click of my $100 button. And so I select that and I click okay. Now let's check that. So now when I click this button, you saw that little thing appeared. And when I go back here, now that's, that's there. So now that I've got that, let's just make our other buttons. So I'm gonna highlight both of these um, by holding shift. And then I'm gonna hit control D for duplicate and bring those down here for our 200, 300, 400, and 500 dollar buttons. And I'll just make those two, three, oops, three, four, and five. And now these are all set to still go to that second slide. So I need to go through each of these individually and make sure that they are navigating to the appropriate slide. So my $200 button should go to slide three and okay, and then slide four and so on. So I'm just gonna do these ones quickly. Slide four. All right, and now that I've got that done, I've got those buttons done, I'm gonna highlight these and I'm gonna drag them over so that they perfectly cover up those buttons. So now uh, when I click that, it should go to that slide and then I come back, I click that and it should go to the other slide. So now you can see our $200 button took us to the $200 slide. So the next thing I wanna do is create a button to take me back to the home slide um, to put on each of these so that I can go back to the home slide. And you can do this with a picture of a home button or just create another shape like a circle. And so I want this to be my, my home button. So what I'm gonna do is then insert an action for this to take me, uh, hyperlink this back to the first slide. And so I'm gonna click okay. And now I'm just gonna copy that, control C, and then do control V, control V, control V, and control V. And so now I have a home button on each of my slides. So now if we come back over here, I can go to 100, click home, 200, click home, and you'll notice each time I go back, this is, this is covered up now. So now that's a pretty good setup for our Jeopardy. The only thing we have left to do then is create uh, an answer reveal on the slide. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna insert a shape and I'm gonna have this be a little answer button. So answer. And then I want to insert a text box with my answer text. So answer make the text white so we can see it. All right, so now I have, when I wanna click on this answer button, I want this answer text to appear. So I'm gonna to go to um, animations up here. And then similarly uh, as before, I'm just going to go to my effect options and I'm gonna have it go on a trigger, start on the click of the um, answer button. Okay, and so now let's try that out again here. So we are on our 100, we click our $100, it takes a slide uh, someone makes their guess, I click the answer, and then the answer text appears. And then when I'm done with that one, I click home and then proceed on with the game. So I hope that helps you in uh, learning how to make a Jeopardy. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments and I'll uh, answer as quickly as I can. Thanks.